Welcome to Side Effects with an A. When effect is normally used, it's a noun. It's already occurred. Effect is a verb meaning action. Action influences outcomes. I'm Scott McGowan. And I'm Anne Marie Singleton. We will provoke you to think differently. Side Effects, where problems are defined, solutions exposed. I'm Scott McGowan. Welcome to Side Effects. I'm Anne Marie Singleton. How are you? I'm doing fine today, Scott. How are you? Nice big fall day. It is a fall day. You know what? I have a slight headache behind my left eye because of all of the leaves that have fallen off the trees. Yeah, I'm kind of manic about leaves. It's a problem. I need therapy, actually, for it. I think we have an EAP that might help you out. Yeah, so so this weekend, um, so this summer, I, I actually, um, I broke my leaf blower. I'm addicted to my leaf Why blower. Why did you have it out in the summer? Let's start with that. Because uh, re- I'm, I'm manic. Okay. I mean, I'm like psycho. And it, uh, so this weekend, I went to the store to buy a rake. Okay. Because I don't have a rake. Because I'm so good with a leaf blower. <laughs> it's like a, it's like an artist it's paintbrush like, for it's me. It's like an appendage. It's why my, it's why my wrist is so messed up. So it bro- So I went and bought a new one, a backpack. But you went for a rake blower. and you got a backpack leaf blower. It's kind of a guy thing, you yeah. know. If it takes gas and it makes loud noises, then we're probably going to do it. That's great. Well, I'm going to give you yeah. my address. You can come over and take care of mine in about ten minutes. I can do my yard in twenty. Yeah. In twenty minutes, my neighbors laugh at me. It is psycho. I've done it in the dark. <laughs> I've done it in the dark in my yard. Oh, this is a great time of year because we can give you a hard time about that. So it's kind of crazy. So it's one of the, our topic for today is uh, a podcast. So why did we get started doing a podcast? Why is that important to McGowan Braybender? Why is it maybe even important to our listeners? So it's a podcast about a podcast. Right. And what goes on when we're in here. So yeah, yeah let's talk about that. So one of the things is, why did we even consider starting a podcast? So what was important to you? Well, I think part of the reason that we started to do this is because we needed to get messages to people who needed to hear them. But time is always an issue. And so top leaders in companies, CFOs, CEOs, presidents, owners, it's really hard to get their attention outside of when we need to be making a decision. And so... Some of the things we wanted to talk about are things that need to be talked about in order to make good decisions. Right. And I think the other thing, too, is what we want side effects to be about is, look, we might be right. We might be wrong. We're not afraid to talk about it. And sometimes we get in front of either an insurance company or a healthcare care provider or an employer and there's personalities in the room and we're kind of adjusting to that. And, hey, I'm not sure if they should hear this right now. So we're managing a crowd. Right. And we want to do on a podcast is manage an audience, manage information. Right. To get that information out there in the in the rawest possible way so people can consider it when they're making their decisions for their organization. And our, and our job is really to provoke people to think differently. So how can we talk about healthcare in a completely different way? Because uh, a lot of CEOs or CFOs, and quite frankly, in Wall Street Journal, New York Times, they'll read and, wow, like, uh, you know, I want to learn more about that. We want to talk to our markets about everything that's evolving in the marketplace. But when we're just sitting at a desk with a leader, we're talking to one leader. We want to have a platform where we can share that with multiple right. audiences. Right. And multiple sometimes audiences. we give information and sometimes we give our opinion about that information. So, so the next step is, so what have we learned from doing a podcast? Yeah. So l- l- let me just kind of explain to our <laughs> listeners. So Dave, uh, who's in uh, in the room with us, Dave Holman, uh, who is might be the brightest, most innovative guy I've ever met. And then Donna is in the back here, and she's driving this, uh, this uh, uh, podcast for us. Uh, came to us and said, let's do a podcast. Uh, and they asked me to do it. And one of the things we had talked about is, hey, I'm not sure everybody wants to listen just to Scott. So how can we bring bring somebody else in this audience? So we asked Anne. Yeah. And then I remember the first time you sat in that chair, like, what are we doing? So walk me through, like, when that happened, what were you thinking? Yeah. So, you know, I, I, you just stopped by the desk one day and you're like, hey, do you have a minute? I was like, oh, yeah. So I stopped down. And you're like, OK, so you're going to do this do this podcast with me. You're going to be my co-host. And I was like, oh, all right. I thought I was just going to be your guest on one show. Um, but but what it turned out to be is, you know, we really need somebody who is out in front of clients on a regular basis. And so we've got, you know, Scott from a strategy perspective, still with clients, not nearly as often as I am. I'm out there pretty much every day. And so we really needed to be able to uh, disagree with each other and say, hey, that's a great idea. But in theory, that doesn't work. Or, 
you know, he needs to be able to say, um, yeah, you, I know you've been doing it like this, but, you know, here's something to consider when you're thinking about future strategies for clients. So, yeah, plus I don't think, and I think everyone that knows Anne, I mean, you're like, you're not afraid to poke the bear. Uh, you're not afraid to say what's on your mind. Uh, you're bright. You've got in, a large antenna in the marketplace. You're in front of a lot of employers. You're in front of a lot of strategies. Uh, and you're really smart. Yeah. Well, thanks. That's awful nice. I'm well, it's true. So, but we really want to be sure that we're providing information that's timely, that's valuable, and that at some point is actionable. Plus, we have a good time picking on each other. We do. It is. And I'm telling you, it's about a thousand degrees in here right now. Usually it starts out at about 50. And then as soon as we shut the door, um, it's it gets to be about a, a thousand degrees in here. We're in this tiny room, right? It's like six feet by six feet. Scott and I basically sitting like four inches from each other. And we've got this microphone about four inches from our face. Right. And if we get too far away from it, Donna says, I can't hear you because she's watching it back there on the on the monitor. Yeah. So you know what's really funny? So Dave um, had this grand idea of this podcast. So we built this room, six by six, padded walls. And they actually have us come back here four hours a day. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we. Uh, I think they just keep is... the most manic people in the building in a padded room. I've always wanted. I, I thought I might end up in a padded room. Right, and here we are. One day you you have achieved. You your know, goal. you don't have to wear that straight jacket every time you come in here, Anne. Right? Oh, that's not what Donna said. Yeah. Well, shoot. Well, we we did think about maybe taking this live and uh, maybe maybe going on the road. But the thing is, Scott's got an amazing face for a podcast, so we're just going to stay in this room. Oh, that's amazing! Thank you. Oh, Thank you. After all those nice things. You said about me. Yeah. I um, think the other thing, too, is one is it's live. It's unscripted. So the first time Ann and I were sitting here, what are we going to talk about? Uh, and w- on a podcast, uh, we want to have just neck up knowledge. So what's up in our heads? What's going on in the marketplace? We're not going to script anything. Right. I mean, there's nothing that says we're, we're qualified to, to do a podcast, right? But we are qualified to be advisors in the health insurance space. It's what we do. And we're not afraid to talk about the big issues. And throw those out on the table. Right. So we, we, you know, we have some conversation. We generally know what we want to talk about. But when we come in here, we have a real dialogue, just like we would have if we weren't sitting two inches from the microphone. Yeah, and if we make mistakes, we don't edit it. Like, you've made a lot of them. I haven't made any. Okay. So we don't edit any of those, right? Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. That's right. I hey, did. You told me you had a face for a podcast. <laughs> Donna usually tells us that, hey, you said something wrong, you know, after it's over. And we're like, ah, oh, well, it's it's OK. We know what we meant to say. So no, no, uh, no retakes. Right. Yeah. I think that makes it um, valuable. Right. Because we're not we're not sitting in a room. We're not trying to craft up a message and get everyone to believe, you know, this message that we're sending out in a particular way. We're having a real dialogue with each other that we hope is turning into a real dialogue for you and your your workspace with your coworkers and your leaders and, and your advisor when you sit down to talk with them. Yeah. And, you know, we've gotten some really good feedback from not only customers, but also prospects. And I think Dave had given us intel that, uh, and I'll ask Dave to nod back, but I think about 4,000 unique listeners have listened to the podcast. So it's actually higher than that. Dave's thumb is up. He's telling me more, which is awesome. And I'll just clear, it's not 1,000 degrees in here. It's 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 hot, <laughs> right? Was 1,000 exaggerating? Okay. It was a slight exaggeration. It's just hot. It it's might just, just be about 80 in here, but it's warm. Yeah, so we've gotten great feedback from our customers and clients and prospects, um, and but also our workforce. Uh, our employees have come back to us and said, gosh, the knowledge transfer that I get through a podcast has been amazing. As you guys, as leaders, talk directionally about different strategies, sometimes I think, well, is that important for me to know? And if it is, I can go to the podcast and I can listen to that and grab more information back. Right. We've gotten a lot of people who have contacted us and said, hey, I have a message to share um, could I could I be a guest on your podcast? And so we we have people that ask if they can be a guest, and then we also invite people in to be a guest if we want some additional expert knowledge around a particular topic that we think is important for our audience to hear. And so it's a great platform for us to have other people in to share their message as well, all with the idea that we want to help employers think differently and help employers continue to control and drive down the costs of their benefits and, and offering health care. So can you listen to yourself? Have you ever listened to the podcast? I listen to all of them. I do. Yes. Yeah. I take notes and I listen to them and I, I try to say, that sounded weird. Don't do that again. You know, I do try to critique myself. Right. Um, do you listen to them? You know, it, it took me a while. 
because you know it's like watching yourself um uh like on my tedx i couldn't watch it for a long time because i'm I'm not sure i want to watch that and and actually when i watched it i was like hey you know what you did a pretty good job there uh and that's it but the other um issue with a podcast for our workforce and even for our client it's convenient it's on their time right so a lot of times we'll talk about big issues but we're at an event or in front of a client so it's got to be convenient for them convenient for us uh, and at least what we're hearing from different people is, hey, I get to pick and choose when I want to listen to you, if I want to listen right. to you. Right. And when we started, we were like, oh, this should be about 30 minutes. Way too long, right? It's too long. And then we're like, well, let's try to keep it around 15 to 20. That's usually the amount of time someone is driving from point A to point B or perhaps walking on the treadmill or walking outside after work. Um, people have 15 to 20 minute windows of time where they can listen to something versus 30 minutes. Yeah, and it allows us really to even take some of those issues that we talk about and take them to even deeper, deeper levels, both internally and then uh, and then externally. So Ann and I will normally sit here and we'll talk um, either uh, five minutes before we start or maybe the day before and talk about, hey, what's the topic that we want to talk about? Uh, and we don't want to script anything out. We want to just make sure that we're, we're sharing information. Uh, and strategic information, knowledge that we have directionally out to our listeners that will impact their business, their workforce, and meet our aspirational vision of empowering business with solutions, empowering people with choices, and then ultimately empowering healthier living for the people that we serve. Right. And we try not to make sure, you know, try not to make sure that this isn't this isn't a McGowan Braybender commercial, right? We don't want this to be self-serving. We want this to be helpful and valuable in your decisions that you make, regardless of of who you're working with, you know, what advisor you're working with, what carrier you're working with, where you're located. We want this to be relevant information about the landscape of healthcare today. Yeah. So even if you're a listener and you're even considering a podcast, a couple of things I would tell you. One is I heard that information from from Dave, like a couple of things went through my head. One, that sounds expensive. That sounds like a lot of time. Secondly, I'm not sure, like, I'm the right person to be able to do that. Uh, and, and I would probably just tell the listeners, one, it is, it's not expensive. I mean, we're sitting in a room that might be, I'll ask Dave to put his thumb up or down, that might have cost less than $2,500. Lower, uh, Less says. than $2,500. These microphones are actually um, 80% of the cost of this room <laughs> that, that I'm staring, that's up my nose. I'm so close to it. Right. Uh, and then don't the, use mine. I don't want your spit on my microphone. And the software is uh, it's simple. It's it's inexpensive. I'm looking at Donna it's and she's free. shaking her head and it's free. The software is free. So even if you use the podcast for an internal education platform, it is an excellent way to drive information that's convenient for other people. Right. And so when we decided to do this and I thought I was going to be a guest again, I thought, oh, OK, I'm going to be a guest one week. I'm going to talk about something I know that's easy. And then they said, you know, you're going to be a co-host on the show. And I thought, well, I'm not sure I have 52 things that people want to hear. Right. If we do one every week. Um, and then, gosh, if we keep this running for, for more than one year, do I have hundreds of things that people want to hear from from me about and um, the truth is, they're, they're not my topics. They're topics that are relevant in the marketing marketplace. There's lots of change happening. And it's our job to stay, stay current and stay disciplined and stay relevant and to bring valuable information. Yeah, when healthcare is 17% of the economy, there is a lot to talk about. So we're just now getting all this information on the exchanges, the rate impacts across the country. So this market, this industry is going to be ever evolving. Yeah, and so a couple of things that that um, this is this is the funny part, right? A couple of things to think about. So normally on the days we do this podcast, I try to wear like you know a longer dress or some pants. So Dave, yeah, because we can all see you right Dave, now. Well, Dave's sitting across from me on this tiny stool, so I had to bring a scarf to put on my lap so that you know I'm not crossing my legs. Funny, you know, we're not thinking about that. I'm thinking. Why don't about you wear makeup? Looking at the. Stop it. And seriously, I'm just, I'm just I, curious. I just don't, I don't and understand. So I, I gave some advice to one of our colleagues that was going to do a podcast with Scott. That was the week they um, they didn't invite me, which I'm still a little bitter about that. Um, that was intentional, and by I, the way. I said to him, look, when you get in there, make sure you're looking right, like look right at each other so you can see who's, you know, there's, there's going to be a pause or someone's got some reaction to you. got to really stare at the other person. And that's sort of weird when you oh, first yeah. get started. I mean, we are sitting almost, you know, elbow to elbow here and we're like looking right at each other. If you've ever seen Howard Stern when they, you know, 
um, show him and his on-air show as basically what we look like with this microphone. Yeah, so if you're an organization that's interested in a podcast, you can just reach out and call us, uh, and Dave will talk to you. It's uh, it. Dave, Dave just gave me the look. Did I get the evil eye? Was that the evil eye? Was that the look? Now he's laughing. Okay. Hey, guess what? Give us a call. I'll talk to you about a podcast. My name's Scott. Right. You can talk to me about it. Right. Or you, well, can, you can email yeah. us. A couple things that are really important. Number one is uh, it, it don't script anything. Uh, number two, a podcast is not a self-serving media to talk about your organization. A podcast should be useful information, re- whether right or wrong, uh, where it just provokes people to think differently about a situation. And I don't know about uh, you, Anne, but I've enjoyed our time together. I know we pick on each other, but you're really important to me as a person, uh, as a leader here at McGowan Braybender. Uh, you're very valuable, and the fact that you and I can have fun together. Yeah. No, I think it's been a really an awesome experience for me, and I hope it's been an awesome experience for our listeners, too. Um, it's not often that we can get the CEO of a company to sit down and share what you see. So even though I work closely with you every day, sometimes you come in here and say things that you know, amaze me or blow me away. So I think it's an awesome opportunity for us to share our knowledge, our information, and we'd love to hear back from you. So if you could email us, Ann at HealthierBirthdays.com. Or Or Scott at HealthierBirthdays.com. Yeah, what's important to you? What topics do you want to hear? Because we would be happy to sit down, and I'm going to use your word, and unpack that topic for you. Unpack. So the next time we get together on side effects, we're going to unpack the value of telemedicine. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week. Thanks for listening and opening your mind. If you're interested in learning more, you can reach us at scott at healthierbirthdays.com. Or Ann at healthierbirthdays.com. We hope you'll join us next time on Side Side Effects. Effects.